the strategy of London. They want to take it to the big guy right away. Down 7 nothing early. Remember, the Titans were actually 4-8 and eight on the road during the regular season away from the odd. And 1-1 one and one so far in the postseason as the first buck is in 29 minutes as Amir Williams can't get this shot to go and led the squad with 628 points as a result. Just see Jones. You're a really good shooter. 67%. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Up top, it's Walker throwing down. Who's coming off the bench, but any teams that are playing against London going like, that's the one-two punch, like, I got to play Mil um, Williams as a starter, and then Forte as a bench guy? You got to be kidding me. Titans with a three-point lead looking to add to it is Jesse. Everybody on the court. He had the size advantage there on Chris Jones, and Chris Jones wisely backed off. Chris Jones splits the seam, and they're going to count this one. Who bend the hook? Rolls into the lap of Chris Jones. And I'm going to say this one more time because I know it just gets under your cross so bad, John Van Howling. And as last shot of the opening quarter, if they want it, down by two. Three seconds left. Jones attacks the rim, and we're tied up as the buzzer goes. 31 3 is claimed a victim, and Terry Thomas is Tyran Walker breaking out a piece. Jones, look at the speed on this guy. Feeds an open Tate, threes away, nylon ripper. You know what the key is? Playing time, large in part to again, no Ferguson or Frazier for Neil Foreman to go and to. no Kindred, he's on the bench. Kindred, by the way, three fouls, John. For the Lightning, though, Jones and Williams, those oh, no. two My word. Burns receives it from Jones, feeds him back the rock. Seven seconds left on the shot clock. Jones attacks the basket, loses the... Burns to the far side now to Jones. Jones stutter steps his way through the key. Fades over the defender and hits nylon on Jabari Gregg. Sort of got to get away from the sixth man and Terry Thomas. Threes away, it won't go. Good challenge there by Thomas. A chance to tie the game up or take a one point lead. Haley's going to dunk this one up. It's like Walker and Kindred should have plenty of fuel left in the tank here in the second half. Walker from the free throw line, nothing but nylon. Three rattles out. That ball is halfway down the cylinder, John. Now Jones, man, the torpedoes. Go down, more offensive work, but Jones is pushed out of bounds and he appears like he's hurt. In fact, a teammate in Lance Adams helps Jones to get back to his feet. Track it to Jones is, well, letting the table set up, so to speak. Jones. After the basket, gets it down to have. As again, for a guy like Jabari Craig, who comes into the contest, he's 6'10", filling in for the seven-footer in Tyron Walker. The spin around J is good. Got fouled by Greer, which I thought was the same circumstance as the previous play. But Down by a nickel are the Bolts. Jones has been hot in this third quarter, continues to... Or not to three. So it looks like it it's wasn't not, Macbeth, right? Look, what was it? No, it's Hamlet. Hamlet. To be or not to be. <laughs> to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or by opposing them. Perish in the duty. Oh, you're, you're pulling the Paul West head. 45 remaining in the third quarter of play. London gets their first taste of the lead in the second half of action. Remember, they started off this game with a 7 nothing run away from Juwan Miller. So you have Jones and Miller going at it as Miller, well, bewildered by Jones's handles. At some point in time, they're going to need a couple threes from him just if they want to get some separation from KW. Forte, alley oop from his teammate and Chris Jones. And that was Land in corner three, grazes the rim. See Jones. Forte running out. Led by Forte, bounce past the Forte, power move around Tyrell K. It'll get it done on the defense. Yeah, team. absolutely. Jones stutter stepping his way to the basket and one for Chris Jones. Last game against them, John, he had an absolutely thrilling game where he competed for 22 points and 14 rebounds. They literally are lacking depth in the championship game at the worst time possible. This is a long two from be Jones. A two, yeah, exactly. yeah that's what was, but he was very effective. So Jesse Jones using that speed to his advantage, bursting up the court, leaves it there for Kindred. Kindred's floaters up, rattles around, and goes down. 45, there's still technically lots of time to come back into this game. They just need to start with defensive stops. Chris Jones leading everybody on the court with 31 points. Check that, 33. Well, that's part of, you know, it's like uh, you're playing the guy from the Mavericks, right? And uh, Dallas Mavericks. Luka like, Donich? Yeah, he, he's making all kinds of points, but. Three ball how, splash. How, how hard do you. End of the game. 
He needed him in that second quarter to stay hot, and it probably would have kept his team in it. Yeah, like this team stayed in the game, but like we said. On the court, too, he's telling the fans to get loud here, approaching the final minute of play. He's showing off that N1 mixtape ball handling skills while, <laughs> while hyping up the crowd. And this is the nail in the coffin again. An extra one for good measure hammered in there by Chris Jones.